Um, so thank you guys for getting on. We have, okay, so this is our fourth week now. We have one more week after this. This was going to be our last week, but since we were in Nashville, and I know a lot of people kind of got a little bit behind, all of us, including myself, um, we just want to give everyone an extra week. And plus, it'll be an extra week that you guys can reach your goals and get the mole that we put the buy-in. So congratulations, Janice, on signing up another discount coach and being away on vacation and still making it happen. Um, all right, so today I am going to talk to you guys about something really exciting. It's what we've been talking about this week, time management, and also being the CEO of your own business. And I've been reading Sarah Robbins. Um, wow, I almost forgot the title. Rock Your Network Marketing Business. I have read it like the last couple of days and I'm listening to the audio. So I'm like getting everything reading and audio. So I'm just grabbing information from everywhere. But it is so good. If you guys have not read this book, please make sure you pick it up. Um, I read it or I listened to it on YouTube. I have the book. It's very cheap if you get it on Amazon. I'm not sure if it's on audible.com or not, but you guys can check if that's what you prefer to do. But so what's the title name again? Rock Your Network Marketing Business. Here, I'll show you. Thank you. You're welcome. So I just took a little bit of information on that because the chapter I read today was about managing your time, but just being the CEO of your own business. And since we're getting to the end, I feel like it's kind of necessary to put everything into perspective. So I'm going to read off my notes here. Um, but all right. So what's great about this business that you have is it's your own business and you are your own boss. You are creating and designing your own future for yourself. Um, and I know Janice even talked about when she was on vacation, it made her realize how much more she wants to do this because she wants that freedom. And I think we all want that. Sarah, even though you don't have any kids right now, future, possibly, you want that freedom, even if it's with your husband. I mean, you want that freedom for you guys. So if you treat it like a business, it's going to pay like a business and you're going to see the reward, the freedom that you get from it. But if you treat it like a hobby and you're not consistent, it's going to pay like a hobby. And I swear that post I did for you guys this morning, not just for you guys, for the team this morning, it was before I read this. <laughs> um, but it's true. It's either you either need to be consistent or it's not going to pay it. You are not going to get the reward and the success from it. If you're not being consistent. Hi, Sarah. Um, all right. So people tend to get caught up with issues with their own mindset, with their emotions, and with time management. And that's when people start to fall off. I'm sure you guys can all agree. I'm guilty too. I have gone through the whole works. Um, but where does you where does your success begin? It begins with you. So we can no longer play the blame game on anyone for anything that we're not being successful with because in reality, in your back office, your name is the only one there. On your paychecks, your name is the only one there. All right, so we have to take action for our own success and take responsibility for our success or for our failures. And, you know, we fail. Everyone fails, but I'm talking about failing forward. All right, just because we fail doesn't mean we give up. We have to keep going. Um, if we stop being uh, consistent, it happens. It's part of life. We're human, but we must pick back up and not lose that momentum so much that you don't want to do your business anymore, that you just completely lose focus. Because remember, when you start this business, you make an obligation to yourself, you make an obligation to your family, you make an obligation to your challengers, and you make an obligation for your team, all right? You have so many people counting on you that trust in you, that you're posting and promising that you're giving them this, 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 and this. You have to fulfill that obligation that you're giving people. This is not a temporary thing, and that's why it's hard when people say no and you're wanting them to come back to you it's because they're waiting to see if you're going to be there in the long run this is the obligation that you have to fulfill and prove to them 
that you are in this for the long run and you are not quitting and you are not giving up because once they see you slow down, they're not going to want to join you. They're going to say, she's so on and off and I notice it with her post. So I'm going to go to some other coach who's more consistent and who I can see is passionate about what they do and who I know is going to be here for the long term. So guys, we have this cup challenge coming up. Whose first cup challenge is this? I think Sarah and Janice first time. No, Sarah has done one. Okay, awesome. Uh, there's two Sarahs here. Sarah Griffith, I know you've done one. <laughs> Sarah Johnson, you have done one. All right, what did you get out of it? Uh, my first cup, I didn't, I mean, honestly, I didn't get anything out of it. How consistent were you? Um, I probably wasn't consistent at all. I was like right when I first started, like right when I first signed up. Um, and so I don't, I didn't really, I don't know that they were like, I didn't really even know what was going on. So I signed up with random people who I now know, um, Misty and I forget the other girl's name. And I don't think, I don't know if the other two girls are even coaching, but, um, it was like, we were all kind of like, didn't know what was going on. So this time will be way different. Yes. I was just going to say that I'm really excited to see what's in store for you in your business because girl, you've been rocking it and I know <laughs> Thanks. we're going to do some amazing things and you have your own team now and you do have your own team in your cup challenge this time, right? So I have my own team in my cup challenge? People on your own team in this cup challenge, right? No, it's all, it's Janice and Ashley and Dana and well, one person, my husband, he is on our team. Yeah, and he so, is yeah. working the business. Yes, he is. Yes, you're right. You have somebody on your team. Yes, you're yeah. right. I, and you yeah. know what? It's nice because that is going to help you build momentum, help you build momentum but it's going to help him build momentum too. And yeah. It's going to help both of you hopefully rank advance and get to yeah. that higher level in your business. Um, so, you know, as I'm saying, we have this cup challenge going on. We are busy. We have so much going on. I know everyone's like going on vacations. Teachers are getting ready to go back to school. Some are hopefully not going to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a lot going on, but it is important. We cannot make excuses for our success. All right. We have to make those short-term sacrifices to produce freedom for yourself, for your family. And this is going to be long-term freedom and success, all right? We can't think short-term sacrifices is only short-term success. If you think that way, you're not going to want to do it, and it's going to fail, all right? So these short-term sacrifices will go a long way, but you have to be consistent with them, and you have to keep doing them. You must put in the time, all right? And one thing that Sarah Robbins said is, you can work on your business part-time, but not sometime. All right. Most people start out with this business part-time. We don't all start out full-time. I didn't start out full-time. Heck, I was working full-time hours. I was in school for my master's classes, taking clinicals, having a newborn, having a one-year-old, building a house. Um, I didn't have time to build a business full-time. But what I did was I put hours in here and there probably about 10 to 12 hours a week and I built my business and that time that I put in was effective and I did what I needed to do. The most important things were done. All right. So put in the hours into your business. They must be planned and purposeful. So do any of you guys set business hours? All right, cool. So it's, it's hard to do, but it's also um, not so hard to do once you get into it, once you get consistent with it. You're going to think, all right, well, it's working for me. Now, you know, if you can set business hours, your family knows that you're treating it like a career. You're treating it like a business. Um, so set hours of operation. All businesses, don't they have business um, hours of operation? They have an opening and they have a closing. And if they didn't, wouldn't that business fall apart? Every business that is open has hours of operation. Now, this is your business and your turn to set hours. I'm not saying you have to open at 8 and close at 5. I'm, my business hours, I wake up at 6. I get to work until 8 o'clock, 8.30, and then it's time for me to take care of my kids. And then 
If they're in daycare, I will work again from 9 o'clock until 4 o'clock. Then I pick them up 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock is family time. And then after that, I'm back to work, getting on my calls, doing what I need to do. All right? You have to set business hours for yourself. Um, so the hours that I want you guys to be setting are hours of income-producing activities. If you guys are not sure what the income-producing activities are, just a few things, sharing your business and inviting people to learn more about the business. All right, so this is more of the business aspect, the business opportunity. Another way is sharing your products and inviting people to the group. So this is more of the challenger end, getting customers, all right? And then the last one of income producing activity is follow-ups and signing people up and getting them started right. All right, so yeah, we take time in getting them signed up, but we can't forget about them after that. You have to make sure you are getting your coaches and your challengers started right so they can see the success, the success as well, and you're not just wasting your time. So tonight, between tonight and tomorrow, I don't know your hours that you're able to work tonight or tomorrow, but the hours that you do have available to you, I want you to take 15 minutes and I want you to look at your weekly planner and I want you to block out your 10 to 15 hours of for the week that you are going to be working your business, all right? And I know some people work longer hours. They may only have seven hours. I started my business with a full-time job, full-time master's classes, clinicals, two kids under the under one year old um i was working seven hours a week just to give you guys a little heads up of how i started and i only did that for i did that for probably a good six months into my business and then i moved it up to 15 hours a week and now i probably work 25 hours a week 25 to 30 and i'm okay with that because it's paying a lot better than when i was working as a nurse 60 hours a week or 50 hours a week. All right. <clears throat> so I want you guys to plan out your calendar. Uh, look at your calendar, plan everything out. And I want you to show us what your calendar is going to look like. Look like Janice, you kind of already did that. And I appreciate you sharing that. Um, I want you guys to be specific on what income producing activities you are doing during that time. Okay. So the power hour is great. That's awesome. But I want you to be specific on what activities you are doing that is going to move your business forward. All right. So you must control your time or your time is going to control you. And it is so true. It is so true. And I've gotten caught up in that so many times that I would set a power hour. I would set my business hours. And you know what I would do? I was not doing in income producing activities. I was scrolling through Facebook, talking on the phone with my friend, success partner, Kaylee. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how many hours. I didn't waste hours with her because God, I love her, but it was not helping neither of our businesses at all. We would just sit on the phone and talk for hours. No, did not help my business at all. We actually had to make that change and we don't talk as much. So we make that short time that we do talk more effective. Um, but you cannot complain about a busy schedule because guess who makes it? Yourself. You're the only one who makes a schedule. You cannot complain about it. Remember, if you want more freedom, you have an opportunity sitting right in front of you guys. Okay? You have to use it, utilize it, take advantage of it. All right, so some of the time that I want you to include for also in your planner, time for prospecting, time for presenting the opportunity, attending events, very, very, very important. A super Saturday is three hours of your quarterly period. You only get three of those in the year. If you want to be successful in this business, Come on, Super Saturday is very important. This is your time to see top coaches and hear successes and motivate you and allow your team and challengers and everyone looking at what you're doing to see. I'm serious about my business. I'm taking advantage of it and I'm not going to hold back at all. All right. And then also for your calls. Oh, 10 seconds. I'm going to have to check on that because I am not sure, but I will. It's in the back office too if you go under Super Saturday events. Um, 
And also for calls, team calls. I, I get this. Some people work and the hours cut in cut into the team calls. I don't expect you to stop working your regular job to get on the team calls. That's why we have them recorded. But if you're home and you're, well, I still get on even if my kids are begging for me. If you're home and you have that time available, sacrifice it to get on these team calls. It's okay if your kids are screaming. Guess what? You have a mute button, all right? You have a mute button. That's what's awesome about it. What's even more awesome is I host the calls and my kids literally are crawling on my face most of the time. All right? We have no excuses. I usually have my husband interrupting me like every single call if he's home. If he's home, he's interrupting me. My kids, if they're not sleeping, they're interrupting me and they're never sleeping at that time. So if I do it, you can do it. Make it happen. All right? So... Think of what things can be cut out. Like I said, those long conversations with your friends that are not even purposeful for your business. Like my calls with Kaylee. I had to cut them out. She had to cut them out. We knew it wasn't helping our business grow. Um, TV shows. I get that we love to watch TV with our husband and it's a really good show. Guess what? That's why they have DVR. All right. You can watch it after the call or after you're done with the um, conversation with a, a potential coach or a challenger who needs help or challenging your groups. All right. Um, sitting on social media. I am guilty. Again, I'm guilty of so many things, but I'm guilty of sitting on Facebook and scrolling. And I, you know, I start by taking five minutes that I want to just like people stuff and comment people stuff so they could take notice that I'm there. And then I start scrolling more and then I start liking more. And then it just becomes that I'm like stalking Facebook and doing nothing. Pinterest. That's a big issue. Like I I hardly go on Pinterest because of that reason, because there's so many awesome things that you can find. So you must make that time effective on Facebook. If you are not doing anything to create success in your business, get off of Facebook, get off of Pinterest, you know, put that time into other things that, that are going to be useful for your business. Um, outsource when you can. So I don't know if anyone has we call them assistants and I know it seems like, Ooh, I'm like rich and I have an assistant. No, it, it doesn't work that way. An assistant is simply there to help you. So you can delegate the things that you can find help with while you're doing the more important things. I'm not saying it's not important, but you need to be talking to your own coaches. You need to be talking to your own challengers. So in the meantime, I've paid someone to get likes on my um, Instagram. I have paid someone to go on my blog, take my posts, and put them on Pinterest. So now not only people will find me through Google and my blog, but now through Pinterest onto my blog. All right, those are just a few things that I have had help with, and it has turned out pretty darn good. I was paying someone $15 a week. I wasn't spending $500 a month or anything like that. Um, it's just the simple things that will make a big difference long term. All right. Um, it's about making short term exchange to produce that long term freedom with your business. Um, you have to be willing to pay the price for getting that true time and freedom in the end. And I know we think I'm never going to get there. You know, I'm not going to have that freedom or that success. You will, but you do, you have to put in that time. We've all done it. Um, no one at the top has gotten to where they did without sacrificing. All right. Um, take time for professional and personal development and growth. Okay. What this is going to do is it's going to nourish your soul and fuel your mind. If you are not doing personal development, you are not going to grow number one as a leader. All right. And we are all here because we're in a diamond group. Diamond group does not define who you are, but it's you being a leader. You taking on that role. You building a team. Sarah, are you drinking wine? I love you. Are you drinking wine? <laughs> <laughs> I love our calls. <laughs> um, so, yes, professional development. Job where you can drink at work. <laughs> what? It's the only job where you can drink at work. <laughs> Well, come on, look at this freedom that you get. You can drink at work. <laughs> like it can be take your son to work day, take your daughter to work day, drink some wine. You can do whatever you want. It's all good. 
Um, all right. So you, this is something that I want you guys to write down if you have a pen and paper. And it's a very simple quote that will go a long way. You can only go as far as you want to grow. How far do you want to grow? You can only go as far as you want to grow. Pop in a mint. All right. It's very important, guys. Personal development. Some people say, I don't need to do it. Um, it's not going to affect me. It will. It will. Trust me. I didn't work my, I didn't do that with my business for the first two months. Guess what? I didn't go Emerald for two months until I went to that Super Saturday, realized the importance, got home, started kicking my butt, and started being consistent. And I, um, I read personal development. I didn't listen to it at first. I was reading it. It'll make a huge difference in your business, in your life. You as a mother, you as a leader, you as a wife, everything. It'll make a huge difference. All right. So don't allow distractions to discourage you. All right. I know we get distracted a lot. There are times where we want to go back and forth in the business and we want to say that we're going to quit. If you feel that way, it is time to take a moment, stop everything you're doing, refocus, recommit, and you need to reestablish your goals and you need to write down why you started this business in, in the first place because your why is what should keep you going throughout your entire journey. So when you want to quit, that why should make you want to get back up and keep going. That's how important it needs to be. It, it should make you want to cry because it touches you so hard, all right? So if you ever feel that way, you need to stop and refocus and get your S-H-I-T together. You can swear in this job, shit. <laughs> All right. So, Janice, what did we talk about before everyone got on about hitting Success Club at the end of the month? Oh, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I hit Success Club at the end of the month. You need... Melanie's calling me. We need to say it before it even happens. All right. It is time to start using words that are going to fertilize to grow our dream and grow our team, not to poison it. We can't say, I don't think I'm going to hit success club. I'll try later. Sarah, perfect little call the, or perfect little, um, video that you put on today. All right. Don't give up. It's the end of the month. Don't say I'll try for August. There's a cup challenge. I get it. You don't want to save everyone for August. No. Set the bar high for yourself. Use words of affirmation. I will hit success club. I did hit success club. Before it's done, you tell yourself you're going to do something. Guess what? It's going to happen. But you have to believe it yourself and you have to take action for what you're telling yourself to. Make your thoughts and words towards your business align with your goals for success. All right, so make the decision to be successful and your mind will create your results, just as I said, all right? Everything you tell yourself, it will happen. Again, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that it's possible and believe it will happen. You will hit Success Club at the end of the month. You will hit your goal for the cup challenge. You will rank advanced to diamond by so-and-so date and then put it into action. Do those daily activities that are going to get you to where you're, where you need to go. All right. Any questions guys? Nope. Who else is on? I can't see who's on the iPhone. Sarah, do you want to add anything? Dana's on the iPhone. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I'm in my car. Awesome. <laughs> Good girl. No excuses. With a doggy in the back. <laughs> Sarah, did you want to add anything? Sarah Griffith? I, I think my internet is choppy. Can you even hear me? A little bit. Mm -hmm. You can? Yeah. I don't think you can. Let me yeah. mute myself. Yeah, I can hear you. No? Maybe you're just frozen. Chat bar. I hear you. 
Want to try again? <laughs> okay, trying again. Any luck? Yeah. Deidre's like frozen on my screen. Now, if you can hear me, just listen. And if you can't, it's okay. But just don't quit. I mean, it's, it's hard. Sometimes you don't hit diamond when you thought you would. Sometimes you don't hit success club when you thought you would. But don't quit. Just freaking keep going. It took me months to hit diamond. And every time I didn't hit diamond, I was pissed off at myself. But I didn't quit. And because of that, this month, I have made what I make in a month as a teacher. Because I didn't quit. And next year, I'm not going to go back to being a teacher because I see the future and you can too. You just have to say, I'm in this to win it. So don't get frustrated. Just sit down and work harder. You're in it to win it. That's why you're in this group. That's all. How long have I been a coach? Um, I started coaching last March and I am a one star and I should be more than that, <laughs> but I will be. <laughs> I have a killer team. My team is going to blow up this year. Sarah, can you hear me? Okay. Um, first off, are you going to announce that soon? I you can't. No. Just gave me goosies, but that is for sure. Is that for sure that you're not going back? No, I mean, I'm going back this school year, but my goal is, my goal is to not go back the next year. year. Gotcha. So this is your last year. Enjoy it. Because yep. you're going back. I'm not letting you. <laughs> yep. And one thing that I have to tell, I, I sort of started thinking about, you know, I'm so focused on leaving teaching and, and doing my own thing. And yes, it's glamorous. And yes, it's exciting. But you also, wherever you are, whether you're two years out from leaving your job or one year, you also have to be in the moment and just appreciate what you have. I mean, I have a great gig. You know, I have a nice career, a nice life, a nice job. I have to appreciate appreciate that. So while all of you are excited and you're pushing for more, still appreciate where you are in this moment too. That's important. Sarah, appreciate you being a one star because you know what? You are still making income. You're not mad. You know, when people are upset because they're at diamond, they're at five star, they're not at 10 star, you know, mm -hmm. as long as you're not maxing out on your cycle bonuses, you're yeah. still growing. All right. It's mm -hmm. cool. It's going to happen as long as you're going to keep going. And Sarah, I, you said about you yes. being one star. I say the same thing sometimes about me not being 10 star yet. And it's like, okay, get out of that. Don't even think about other people who are 10 star that may have started right when you did. You cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Compare yourself to where you were a year ago. I mean, mm -hmm. when I went nine, I'm nine star right now. Do you know over a year ago, I was nine star qualifying. It took me over a year to go from nine star qualifying to qualifying for six weeks to nine star. All right. Cause I lost it so many times. I've lost coaches. Do you think that I'm still financially in the same place that I started when I was last year, nine star qualifying? No, I have, I'm making maybe $4,000 a week more than I did a year ago when I was still qualifying for the same rank. You cannot put your success on a, on a star, on a diamond, on a rank. That's no. not it at all. You're growing. Sarah does. She has a rocking team. Um, they're on vacation right now, enjoying their time. Um, but they're doing amazing. They're not stopping. They've set themselves up for when they're on vacation. They're still making it happen. And, you know, that's what it's all about. So, yeah. Yeah, and if you too, be proud of yourself. I mean, if you are working a full-time job while you're doing this, give yourself some credit. It's hard work. Um, just keep at it, really, because I, I do it. I do it every night. Um, when school's in, I work from 8 to 11 because I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So if you're feeling like, oh, I wish I could sit at home all day and work my beach body business, you will. So keep going. Yep. That's all. I'm going to go oh. drink more wine. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. All right. No questions, anyone? If not, we're going to call it a night because I have to get on another call. We're good? All right. Thank you guys so much for getting on. Um, I'm excited for you all to kick some major butt. Finish this month off strong. Let's finish this month off strong. Keep going. No stopping until it's done. Then we'll work on kicking butt next month. All right? All right, Bye. guys. Have a good night. Thank you Bye. so much for getting on. See ya. Bye. Bye.